right guys so uh, I've just uh, had a shower finished for the day and uh, had just put my pajamas on and then I got a message from one of the landowners that that two of my hives in one of my furthest sites away have fallen over and are laying on the ground and it looks like the the actual stands that the beehives were sitting on have collapsed so there's, there's a couple of hives laying on the ground so here I was all getting ready to have some dinner and and uh, it was in my jammies and it was all comfy ready to watch some Netflix or or uh, a series on Amazon Prime and suddenly I've had to jump in the ute throw my bee suit in and uh, head out head out out west to um, to my hives to go and rescue them so I've never I've never done this before I've never had a beehive fall over so it would be interesting to see what's going on out here and why they actually fell over but um, kind of funny you know it all knocked off for the day and was all clean had a shower and everything and uh, now I'm back out and uh, going to tend to the bees again so I thought I'd bring you along with me because it'll be quite interesting and uh, I thought well you know what if I've got to get out and uh, get out of my pajamas and go out to my bees you guys might as well come along with me and we'll see what's going on out here so um, I'll switch the camera back on when we get out and we'll assess the situation and see what's going on we're really pushed for time it's like 20 past 5 we're still about 20 minutes away there's a huge storm I'm just gonna pan the camera around not sure if you can see that but it's quite dark and there's a big storm out there it's been really really hot uh, today so there's a big storm coming so hopefully we can a get the bees back on the stand fix the stand avoid any sort of crazy thunder or lightning and uh, also get it all done before it gets dark so um, I'll uh, switch the camera back on when I got my suit on and the smoker lit and we'll have a look at what the damage is here and uh, it's not actually the hives that I thought that were going to uh, be laying on the ground it's the opposite end so let's go and check it out I'll take you with me okay so they're all on the ground there uh, should be a pretty easy fix so this is, this is pretty good news. It should be a pretty easy fix for me to fix. I actually thought it was going to be these ones right here. So, you know, the fact that it's just the, the bottom prop that's fallen off them, I can easily stand them back up and, uh, and fix them. So I'm going to put my suit on because the bees are going to be fairly agitated and uh, I'll get them sorted out and then I'll explain to you exactly what's, what's going on. smoke calming down probably I don't know how long they've been sitting down here for but we'll have a look and see okay so here's what's happened it's a bit of timber here and it's come away all I gotta do is pop another screw in and uh, should be all good. Interesting. Okay.
Bees are so angry. They're everywhere. Attacking my legs, everything. Oh, so, they were so angry. I've got so many stings on my legs. Um, just because, bad time of the day to be messing with the hives, but had no choice because we had to write them back up. So, I'll just show you. They're all back up now. getting stung again gonna have to come back tomorrow and uh, and just fix them up properly so that'll do for now but uh, yeah that was pretty intense so, I'll, uh, check them in the morning back out here this morning to the the hives that had fallen over so it was a bit of a rude shock yesterday you know being so relaxed and ready to turn in for the day and and then getting the the call that the hives had fallen over so um, it was good to bring you guys out with me because it helped me focus on something else other than worrying about what was going on with the hives and, and that sort of thing. So thanks for coming along with me. If you like this video, we're going to go down and check out the hives, but if you like this video, make sure you click the like button and uh, also subscribe so that you can stay up to date or, or be able to see all the videos that I'm doing in the future. It's really important that you do subscribe because I want you to come along on the journey with me. So well, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button too so that when my videos come up you can you can see that they're up and um, see what sort of crazy stuff I'm up to in the outdoors and with the bees and, and all that sort of thing. So let's go and take a look at these hives, make sure they're still standing. Hopefully there's not too many cranky bees. I got stung like about 15 times yesterday. I never ever would open those hives at that time of night. It's just that you know because they'd fallen over and I needed to maneuver them the bees were just absolutely psycho and hopefully they don't remember how angry I made them yesterday and don't start bombing me before I get my suit on so let's go down and have a look and then uh, we'll see how the hives have held up like I'm going to have to do some repairs on one of the hives on the end but I'm taking that honey box off today anyway so uh, all in all the stand seems to be holding up well and everything looks good I haven't been stung yet standing next to the bees so hopefully they've calmed down from last night anyway I'll see you in the next uh, in the next video